we have customers who come in and, and immediately get that feeling of warmth, you're welcomed. Our baristas know that their first job when a customer walks in is to greet that customer and let them know they're there to help. I think really having them feel comfortable is important. I think for a lot of people, coffee is kind of their big deal first thing in the morning. It puts a real plus to the beginning of the day. We're on the west side of Red Bank, right on the corner of Dr. James Parker Boulevard in Shrewsbury. I realized there was no coffee on the west side of town and decided to open a coffee shop. My father went out west and went to roasting school, learned to roast several times, um, went to different coffee shops and spent almost two years learning about coffee, learning about what goes into it before we even opened. So we get all of our green beans, we at this point, I think we have 13 different origins, which changes depending on the season. We get everything from Brazil, Sumatra, islands in Indonesia that we get from coffees from Africa, South America, um, Central America. So we really are widespread as to where we get our coffees from. All of our coffees at this point are fair trade. That's the one thing that we can control here, the people that are are working at the plantations where our coffees come from, that they're paid appropriately, that they're taken care of as workers, that they're not you know, working for nothing, and here we are selling a $3 cup of coffee. New beans go through a process where they're roasted three different ways initially, um, a light, medium, and dark roast. That way we can kind of test and try. Um, we go through a cupping process, and from there there's a lot of adjustments with um, pressure, with temperature. Once it's in and we have our roast, our computer system's pretty advanced that we're able to save it. From there on out, it's nothing more than just going through the roasting process for the coffee itself. The changes that go into coffee, when they go from the green beans, when we get them, to coffee that we serve, a lot of chemical compound changes, um, and coffee goes from green to brown, but more than just that, there's really a lot that goes into it just on the roasting end, let alone learning how to really serve a great cup of coffee. Initially, you're taking the coffee, we're grinding it fresh. We have everything weighed out before, that way it makes it a little easier on the barista during a rush. The water's 205 degrees, that way uh, you get full extraction. You really want the full heat for the full extraction. We pour the hot water on the filter and the metal itself to warm that, that way we're not putting coffee through a cold metal area. And then it takes about two minutes. There's really a lot that goes into it. I think what's most important, and we've all said, is to really keep that comfortable feeling here. It's your coffee shop. I think most important to me is keeping that from each store, no matter how big it gets.